Yeah. What the heck is going on here? The other side. I was wondering why are there police cars stopping in the middle of the road? I think there's actually someone with a weapon or something like that in the mall because it appeared that they were getting people out of the area there. I guess we'll see a bit more later on. But I guess in terms of what I read today, it actually dealt with a weapon of sort. This one says, man arrested for allegedly shooting arrows towards movie set in Leslieville. A man has been arrested for allegedly shooting arrows from a balcony near a film set, police say. Police were called to Dundas Street and Greenwood Avenue just after 9 a.m. Thursday. The man was reportedly shooting towards a drone being used on the set, causing a danger to the movie crew. The man then barricaded himself in the apartment. Police say the incident has since been resolved peacefully and that the man is expected to be charged. No injuries were reported. Is it one of those things where it's, oh no, it's a drone, it's quote, spying on me. And you have people just trying to shoot the drone down? Man, that's really dangerous, isn't it? Like firing arrows and stuff and missing. Imagine it hitting the wrong target. Although I was looking online, just people responding in social media and stuff. This one says a man arrested, but it seems like some people were posting footages. It seemed like it was a female. And some of them actually said there was two people involved, the husband and the wife, I'm guessing. But that's kind of crazy. It's just crazy to think with examples like this, I'm assuming people just base it on what they see on TV or movies in general. Oh no, it's something flying, it's spying on me. And people don't take the time to actually try to research it themselves or just go up to someone who flies and say, oh, what are these things? Ask them questions, see the types of views that you get and so forth. Way too much hysteria. I thought this was kind of an interesting piece of news in terms of social media, like with that news yesterday of YouTube apparently banning, I don't know, one of Russia's news organizations and they're saying it was unwarranted and they're threatening to block YouTube. Well, this one's interesting as I remember this one where Nigeria actually banned Twitter because Twitter like blocked or put some kind of disclaimer or something like that with a message that the president wrote. But now today they say here, Nigeria lifts Twitter ban with limits after four months sanction. Nigerian president Mohamedou Buhari ordered a ban on Twitter be lifted on condition that the social media platform is used for quote business and positive engagements. Buhari's administration blocked access to Twitter services in Africa's most populous country on June 5th after the company deleted one of its tweets for violating its rules. Information Minister Lai Mohammed said in August the government and the company were close to an agreement on Twitter resuming operations in Nigeria. As a country, we are committed to ensuring that digital companies use their platform to enhance the lives of our citizens, respect Nigeria's sovereignty, cultural values, and promote online safety," Buhari said in a speech emailed by the presidency. What are the odds of that happening, saying you can run this as long as it's used for business and positive engagements? There's like so much negativity in general when people post it, comments and stuff like that. I don't know if that's actually possible. But there is so many more stories of, I guess, countries actually blocking, I don't know, apps, social medias and so forth because they don't want them to be the ones to dictate what's true and false. So it's kind of interesting to see stuff like this develop.
Right. See you guys later.